people do okay parquet is a column or uh, storage file format okay so why uh, column so you know you must be knowing right uh, the column or databases are gaining lot of popularity than the row based um, databases because of the performance everything okay and because uh, nowadays uh, see we are in the big data era the volume of the data are too huge petabytes and above volume of data is there so in that case if you want to perform any analytics um, if the data is uh, stored in the columnar format the performance will be pretty faster okay so using the uh, parquet file uh, right you can store the data uh, efficiently the retrieval of the large data also uh, you know you can do it uh, in an efficient way with the columnar storage format so parquet file is a columnar storage file format so you can you know so with this you can do compression okay and it supports various compression algorithms okay to reduce this row raising requirements and also to improve the io performance and all and uh, also um, the it offers the selective reading okay uh, without loading the entire data set uh you know it, it um, selects the data from the specific columns alone as per your need for example you want to select the you know 22 values from the two co columns right it goes to the appropriate column and then it fetches the data i just explain you what is the difference between row based and column based what is the difference between row based data and column based data? anybody has any idea row based and column why columnar databases are gaining a lot of popularity Hmm? See, let's say you have column column one, column two, column three. Let's say you know, up to uh, let's say you know, um, eighty nine columns are there. Okay, let's assume that in this data set, you know the data are stored in the you know usually the data gets stored in the row based right row one, row two, row three and all the tables. Okay, so you have column one, column two, column three and column eight. You know, let's say you know, in this uh, hypothetically in this uh, table we have eighty nine columns are there. And let's say, you know, you want to access only the column um, 8 and column um, 62. Column 8 and column 62 data because uh, column 8 has uh, the region name. Region name. And the column 62 uh, name is, uh, let's assume that uh, the sales amount, okay? And column 1 is something like, you know, your invoice number and uh, you know the product uh, key and sorry line item key order number uh, line item key and then your product key and so on okay so the, but the column 8 and column 62 uh, you have the region and sales amount column is there so in the case of row based you are firing a query to select the data only from region and sales amount in the case of row based what will happen is it will go and fetch the because in your query you are using region and sales amount only. Select region, comma sales amount from so on so table. Fine. But what will happen behind the scene is it goes and check whether the first column is a region or not. No, the first column is the region. Assume that order number. Okay. This is not a region uh, name. So hence it will skip. Uh, it will keep skip until it finds the region column. Okay. This is the region column. Okay. So, especially if you have um, petabytes and above volume of data. So, in that case, uh, skipping the columns until finds out the desired column will take longer time. It will slow down your performance. So, that's when what they did, they came up with something called column-oriented databases. What are the examples for uh, column-oriented databases? No SQL databases, right? So, you have something called column not databases, no SQL databases, okay? So, nothing but uh, you are... Uh, can you say oh, yeah, MongoDB and um, Mark Logic, Mark Logic, no SQL database and HBase and um, what is that? Uh, the uh, Cassandra, Cassandra. These are the databases or columnar databases. And you might be asking, I want to learn Power BI. 
please take off that mind you know learning power bi alone will not give you a job okay you need to know many things okay so the no sql databases are gaining popularity because the data gets stored in the columnar format so these are the columnar databases like hbs and um, mark logic uh, cassandra and so on okay mongo db okay um yeah so mongo db yes it is a document data store okay i'm i don't want to discuss in in depth okay so what happens in this case the columns are stored separately okay each column is stored separately instead of you know storing all the columns uh, in a single table store each column separately okay you have listen you have c8 column stored separately and then you have c cc2 column is also each column will get stored separately instead of storing all the columns in a single table each column value itself will get stored separately so in that case what will happen you are query you want to select only region and sales amount so in that case you know it goes directly to the appropriate column what are the column that you use it in your query that you know it goes directly to that specific column and then fetch the value hence the performance is pretty faster compared to a row based database okay so so that's why i told you uh, the column database are uh, pretty faster than the um, row based uh, data in the case of um, huge volume of data big data okay so next one is the schema evolution <clears throat> it suppose schema evolution what is schema evolution so if you want to make changes to schema without uh, modifying existing data that is also pretty faster for example you want to rename the column or something right it it, it will be pretty faster and uh, important the compatibility okay it's compatible with the parquet data file right it's compatible with um wide range of uh, big data processing frameworks and tools okay so this is pretty much about the parquet if you wanted to know more about the parquet you can go and check it in the net any of don't break your head too much i just click on the get data here and i just click on more and here i just type uh, parquet let me see uh, if i can get the parquet related connect parquet look here p a r q only I typed it i can see this connector i just double click on it i don't remember the file name that i used it let me see uh okay it shows the url uh, advanced url review right so mm, i don't have the url sorry guys uh, url okay you are even url so you see if the file is available on some cloud right you can specify the url directly there okay so you can get it uh, let me check you know uh, if i have i have another laptop i'll check where the url which one i used it um but earlier in the previous session i'm sure it was asking a lot of changes happened here in the um see earlier it, it used to ask us to load the data url preview and basic here and now it is asking url so previously you should you will be able to upload the file also here okay you don't have to enter the url and all and uh, one second let me just see if i can upload it in our website um, let me first check um what the file where it is available in my local system version that's why you know the version to version every versions they are making changes
can you just upload it there? Rajesh, can you upload it now, website? One second, I'll ask our people to upload this file in our uh, website so that um, I can use that URL. Okay, let me just uh, do one thing. I will just um, go to the that one folder. And here, let me just check uh, the parquet file. Okay, uh, star dot uh, bar. Oh, yeah, I think I forgot it. See, so, yeah, house price dot parquet is there, right? So, I, what I do is I just um, go ahead and uh, select this one. The folder name, okay? Folder name with the file name. Uh, we can use that as a url okay not necessarily url okay uh, you need to specify the directory uh, with uh, the directory name and the path okay so here um what i will do is i'll just go here and then right click on it okay d dot that one first i'll go here House price, wait. House price, yeah, bar K file. So this is available here. I just uh, copy paste it here. And but here, uh, before you paste it, uh, you need to use file. Okay, file. Um, it's not a URL. The basic thing I'm going to use it. Uh, file colon uh, forward slash forward slash. Three forward slash, you need to use it. Mm, and then here uh, I just uh, copy the D colon that one mm, and uh, here uh, what I will do is I just change this one that one and then um, Yes, so this is another way of uh, loading it. Mm, now it is reading it, correct. <clears throat> so if you have this file available in your website or somewhere, you need to use the URL. But the alternative is you can specify file colon uh, forward slash forward slash. Yeah, this feature was available in the previous version also. Sorry, I forgot this one. Okay, the file prefix just now I remembered. So look here, this is these are the contents are there in my parquet file. Okay, very simple one. I just load it. Okay, the previous question is um we don't see the data are stored separately here. See, see the file. When you see the file content, it will be like this, but once you load it right. Behind the scene, it will get converted as a columnar data. See, first of all, in Power BI, whether it is Parquet file or any other file, if you use it in the import mode, it is in memory. The data gets stored in memory. But uh, in the behind the scene, what happens is the Power BI engine, right? The X velocity, we have something like X velocity engine. What it does is, in the case of import, it uh, transform your table or data into columnar data automatically. So then why should I use uh, Parquet file? What is so, like I said, uh, the Parquet, is, uh, Parquet supports um, the compression technique and everything, okay? And here the OS price, this is one type of data. That's a look here, it got loaded successfully. And we could see that uh, here, um, let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, here yeah, there is no direct mode. It's a file, right? It is not a database. But dataverse, you can um, you can use both the import as well as the direct query mode. So you can see the data now. All the data that belongs to Parquet file, you can see it now. 
So in the interview, if they ask you, you know, what are the source system files that you used it, you can tell them I've used the parquet file also. If you go to the model view, so according to Power BI, everything is a table. Okay, our house price is a table. That's all. You need to, let's say you have another table. If you want to join it, you can join it. Okay, that's all. So now you learned uh, how to uh, load the parquet file in your Power BI desktop. Uh, yeah, that's what, um, you know, I was, I requested them. I think, uh, you know, they are doing it. So you need to click on the more, uh, but more here. You will, you will, you need to type the connector as for PAR. So you can see, so, you know, the parquet, even Spark is there. And Azure HD inside Spark is there, right? So, so a lot of connectors are there. Park is one of the connectors. Uh, it is Spark a file is predominantly used in the big data environment. Uh, this is to, um, you know, to, uh, you know, have support the columnar storage file format. Okay. It supports columnar storage file format. Compression is possible and it compresses the data also. This is basically right. Um, so these are the things are by default happening behind the scene when you use the import mode in uh, Power BI itself. Okay. So then why should I use parquet file? Supposing the customer gives you in the data in the form of parquet file, you should be knowing it, how to load it, okay? That's all, okay? But behind the scene, whether it is a parquet file or uh, the Excel file or, right? So non-database related, right? So whenever you use the default import mode um, or even the import import mode, right? So, so what it happens is uh, behind the scene, it is um, converting your table or data into columnar data. And then uh, it compresses the data and finally it loads the data in, in memory. Okay. If the data is available in memory, the performance is pretty fast. The in-memory databases are pretty popular. It is not quite new one. It has been there since long time. Okay. So hope you understood with this simple demo how to uh, 